get um, bonus points. 22. Oh, man. Okay, factor. So we got plenty of time here. So if you're factoring this, you want to say, okay, two numbers that multiply to give you negative eight, but add up to give you negative two. One and eight. Two and four. It's going to be the two and the four. In order to get negative two, you need negative four and positive two. So those are gonna be the two numbers that you see in parentheses. on the answer. This is right here. All right, make sure that you're playing with us or otherwise you're wasting our time by making the question go longer. All right, so factor this ugly thing. All right, your last, if it's in standard form, your last number, this number goes here. This number and its sign goes here. Who's that? Um, then you say, okay, and this is in the, the notes that I gave you for factoring. Okay, two numbers that when you multiply them gives you the bottom number add those same two numbers and get the top number. Here we go. Can I say okay. something to the gold? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Um, I noticed that the gold people had the signs mixed up. So whenever you factor, you might want to just take the time to actually write it out and calculate negative two plus four or positive two plus negative four. Take the time for yourself to do that Play with your signs to make sure that you um, have the right ones. So I see that your numbers were good, but your signs were all. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And that goes back to um, how do you know which what sign is which? Mm, yeah, this is you need to commit this to memory, or you need to know how how um, multiplication with integers works. Right, so the only way you can have a neg, the only way you can multiply two things and get and it be negative is if one of those numbers is negative, and we talk about this in that video. But mm -hmm. your middle term, how do you know which which one of them is negative? The you go by the middle term. Your bigger number is always going to be the same sign as that. All right, and again, um, you don't have to use the diamond, but we like the diamond because I can go to my factors or I can go straight to the solutions from this graphic, right? If I'm going for my factors, I'm gonna plug in, I'm gonna look at that chat in just a second when I start, when I pause recording. Um, if, I'm, if, I'm look, if they ask me for factors, then I use what I see. I use the red number, right? And I plug it in exactly how I see it. But if they tell me to solve f of x, then from here, all I have to do to get the answer is change the sign. If they said solve this thing, then X would be positive four and X would be negative two. So, solve, so for factors, leave it just like it is. 
for ants for solving for roots for zeros you change the sign okay all right um okay so when you factor this you're gonna factor your gcf out first which is an x Oh, we just have to factor, we don't even have to solve. If you were to put this in your diamond, it would be a zero down here because there's nothing there. Yeah, no, that don't wanna work. So it doesn't work there. You gotta just factor out your GCF. Make sure you're playing with us because the answer is right here. You should be able to click it. Um, yeah, all right, so, okay, good. They counted both of those as um, the answer. Now, you know, you would never write this as a final answer. The blue one would be the final answer, but they mean the same thing. They, they want you to see that. Um, questions about this problem from my... Okay, what does it mean to find the zeros of a function? Where's the zero? There may be more than one answer here. What does it mean to identify zero? I want to see what you remember. I'm not mad at this, but these mean the same thing. All right, so I, I keep telling you guys that um, math language is very, very important to math. Um, so when you see zero, when you see the word root, you see the word x intercepts, Make sure it's an x-intercept. Um, yes, ma'am. Solutions. Um, all of these are referring to this. these two points. They're all referring to the same thing. A zero is a root, is an x-intercept, is the solution to a quadratic um, uh, equation or um, function. All right, any questions from my audience or comments from my? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let me pause again. What are the solutions to the equation? So you would do your zero product property, which says something times something is zero. So one of these better be zero. Set this one equal to zero. One or both of these better be zero is what it says. So you set up two equations. When you solve for X here, you're gonna add five and get what?
What are you gonna get there? You're gonna subtract two over here. And remember what we said about factors and zeros, how they're related. All right, yes. All right, so when you add that five over, you're gonna get a positive five. When you um, subtract that two over, you're gonna get negative two. So again, if we had, if we knew what the original function was and this was a diamond, um, you would have negative five here and positive two here, because that's what we see in the factors. But your X equals, from here, you just say, you just change them. Um, okay, so if, if you're looking at your factors, the zero or the solution is just the, just change that sign. And the reason you change the sign, well, it's because of the zero product property, but also because if you look in our notes that I sent you, um, factored form by definition is written like this x minus a number. So if you want to know what m is, you change the sign. Okay. Questions from my by factoring, solve by factoring. So you're going to do your you're going to do your diamond. Make this a little bit thicker too. We got plenty of time. We got over. A minute. Okay, multiplication at the bottom, addition up here. Okay, 45. 14. We need two numbers. 3 and 15. Um, what, 5 and 9? I think it's going to be that one. Okay, we're going to use five and nine. It's plus plus, so we don't have to worry about signs here. Wait a minute. Yeah, so you got your five and nine up here, but for your answers, remember you got to change the sign. So x equals negative five. equals negative nine. Okay, the reason is because when you put these factors, plus five, plus nine, when you do your zero product property, say x plus all right so all right so yes solve by factoring so when you get your factors, your zeros are going to be the opposite sign as your factors. Okay, so I'm not. Well, for that, before you had your comment. <laughs> uh -huh. 
Go, huh? Say it again. I said, I think people answer the blue people probably answered that before you made that um, mm -hmm. in green. And then mm -hmm. it's really, oh, I need to take the extra step and use those factored forms with the opposite of those factored forms. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when you do that, so like I said, the, the graphic may or may not be good for you. You need to do what is successful is successful for you. Some of you might want to just look at this and go straight to here, right? Because you're reminded, okay, I'm looking at parentheses. I need to get my x equals. I got it. There's another step there, but from here, these are your factors. Change the sign. You get your zero. So I'm not too mad at blue people. Just you, you didn't take that extra step. Just be careful. Well, make sure you're answering the question. Yes. Let's see. Any um questions? Okay, we just talked about this. We just talked about this. Four words mean the same thing. What did it mean? Roots, zeros. on the answer. All right, so we just talked about this. Roots, zeros, X intercepts and solutions all refer to where does our parabola touch the X axis okay if i'm on the x-axis that's an x-intercept if it's an x-intercept or again if i'm on the x-axis y or oh man f of x we're supposed to know that f of x is just another name for y equals zero that's why we're also clicking blue okay um, not the y values when x equals zero, that would be a y intercept. Um, and that's not what a root is. We can, we can find the y intercept, but that's not what we're talking about when, when we do this. Questions, comments, concern from my roots, solve, get an x equals, get an x equals and take your time. Okay this four, this four, okay, two numbers that are going to multiply to give you four, but add up to give you two, excuse me, add up to give you four as well, we're going to need negative and negative for factors, our factors are negative two and negative two, so our roots or our zeros are going to be opposite that. Our factors our 
chapters are. Okay. When you add this two over, what are you going to get? When you add this two over, what are you going to get? majority of us got it yes all right so again with multiplying here the only way you can multiply and get a positive number but add the same two numbers and get negative is if they're both positive uh, excuse me both negative negative times negative is positive negative plus negative is still negative okay so that's how we knew it had to be negative two and negative two those two numbers go in parentheses those are your factors x minus two times x minus two then you do your zero product property. Something times something is zero. I didn't write that part. Something is something is zero. So therefore, boom. And or shortcut, just change the signs. Just change the signs. Okay. Once you get here, you know factors and zeros. Okay, factors keep the sign, zeros, opposite sign. Questions, comments, concerns? Solve. Two numbers that multiply to give you negative 21, add up to give you positive four. got to be three and seven. Okay, you got negative product, product, positive sum. So you're going to have negative, positive. Okay, the bigger number has the, the bigger number has this sign. your zeros or your solutions because it says solve is what Some of us are still not paying attention to factors versus zeros. Okay, they said solve, so that means they want x equals. Okay, which means opposite of whatever you get for your factors. Let's try again. Let's try again. Identify your zeros. This time, when you factor, this is one that's going to be like this. Okay. 
when you set your two equations up, that's gonna be one, that's gonna be one. Both of these gonna be set equal to zero. Zero take away two is what? Okay. Yes, good job, good job, good job, good job. All right, so when you subtract that two, you're gonna get zero take away two, boom. Zero and um, negative two. Okay. Okay. Zeros, get an X equals, get X equals, oops, get X equals. So when you do this, Remember, those are your factors. But your zeros are going to get there. This is what they're asking for. Okay, most of us got it. All right, um, just so we can see what I wrote. Okay, factor. Fact, this is so that you can get what goes in parentheses. Two numbers that multiply to give me a positive number, but add up to give me a negative number, they better both will. Yeah, they, they need to both be negative. Negative times negative is positive. Negative two plus negative four is negative six. So those are the two numbers that go in my parentheses in factored form. X minus two, X minus four, keep the sign. For your answers though, identify the zeros or solutions or X equals to the function. You take your factors Take factored form and do your zero product property. Or remember, shortcut, change the signs. Okay, so again, once you come, once you get here, once you get here, you have factors and you have zeros. What was this? Negative two. So again, you're, you're rushing, you're, you're rushing this. If they say factor this, 
they want these numbers. If they say get the zeros, you got to change the sign. Okay, in order to factor this, we need to first get it in standard form. Plus 15. Okay, this is what goes in your diamond. Let's start over. I should have started over here. Yeah, it's very important to get all your terms all on one side. I see a a lot of students try to solve it. And everything's not in standard form. Mm -hmm. Zero. Roots. My red number is not going to be the answer here. The red number is not going to be the answer. Change the sign of the red number to get your answer. 100%. You gotta get this one. Not factor form. They want the roots. So change the sign of the red. That's why I'm doing it in red too, because that's not the answer. Plus three. Plus five. Change the sign. That's a one-step equation. One, oh man, one step to get x by itself in both of these. Better, but not what I asked for. That is not what I asked for. Change the sign. It's a positive three, so change it to a negative three. It was positive five, changed to a negative five. It would be interesting. Quadratic function with standard. Okay, this is fun. The X equals, let's go backwards. All right, let's take our time and get this correct. They're telling us that X equals four and X equals negative seven. So these were the numbers that were in a green box for us. So what must have been in parentheses? Well, we know by definition, factored form is X um, minus a number. X minus a number. So when I plug in my numbers, my positive four becomes negative. My, po my negative seven becomes positive. Okay, still not the answer they're looking for. They want it in standard form. So you got a foil, foil plus seven. Okay. Um, negative four plus seven is three X, negative four times, I should really, I need to work this out. Miss Cole, what are you doing? Okay, there's the answer. Let me show you how I got this. Let me remind you what FOIL looks like. Should have the answer already. Yeah, okay. So what happened here? Okay. Um, so what you have to remember about FOIL, some something times something, binomial times binomial. You have to distribute the first thing, distribute the X. So X times 
x times x gives you x squared. x times 7 gives me 7x. OK, negative 4. This is a negative 4. Keep the sign with the number. Negative 4 times x. This negative 4x. Um, negative 4 times 7 is negative 28. So that's why we're looking for two numbers that multiply, but add, add up to give us the middle number. Because once I combine like terms, positive 7x and negative 4x, that's going to turn into my positive 3. The bigger number has the same sign as the middle term because we are combining, oops, combining like terms. Quads are fun.